Okay, welcome back to CBD Yoga and Fitness. Thank you so much for joining me today. My name is Mike, and today we are going to be doing a uh, morning Hatha sequence. So this is going to be a nice, slow, full body, deep stretch, and a really nice way to wake up to. Um, so when you're ready, we'll begin in a nice seated position. Um, you can sit on a block like I am, one foot in front of the other, or if you don't have a block, you can just come to a nice seated position of your choice. And we're going to begin with some pranayama exercises. So first, let's just start to become aware of our breath, conscious breathing. Taking in this morning. Not trying to judge your breath in any way, just letting yourself breathe. And when you're ready, we're, we're going to begin with some alternate nostril breathing before we begin our poses here. So to do this in your left hand, you can come into a yana mudra with your thumb and index finger together and your palm face up, or you can come into a chin mudra with your palm and index finger, or your thumb and index finger together and your palm face down. So with your palm face down, it's a little bit more grounding your palm face up, it's a little bit more open, open to receive kind of thing. And then in your right hand, we're going to bring our thumb and our ring finger together. And our two peace fingers, we're going to let them rest on our third eye. So we're going to inhale through our left, plugging our right nostril. And then exhale through our left, just to get situated. Then we're going to inhale through our left, close our left, exhale through our right, inhale through our right, close right, exhale left, inhale left, close left, exhale right. Inhale right, close right, exhale left. We'll do two more rounds. Inhale left, close left, exhale right. Inhale right, close right, exhale left. One more round. Inhale left. Close left, exhale right. Inhale right. Close right, exhale left. And then bring your right hand back down to your knee. So alternate nostril breathing is a great way to balance both sides of the brain. Balancing both hemispheres. It's a really nice way just to relax, to calm down. Whenever you're anxious or you feel stressed, alternate nostril breathing is a great way to just help you relax, help you ground down. Okay. <laughs> So from here, if you're sitting on a block, you can go ahead and remove it. We'll start with some side body stretches. So let's inhale, lift both hands up towards the sky. 
Exhale, plant the right palm down to your right side. Then exhale, bring the left arm over, side body stretch. And continue to breathe. You can look under your left armpit if that feels nice. We'll stay here two more breaths. Option to come on down to your elbow here. Exhale, come back to center. Again, inhale, both hands up towards the sky. Exhale, plant our left hand down. Reach over with the right. Making sure both sit bones are on the ground. Next exhale, come back to center. Again, we'll inhale both hands up towards the sky. Exhale, this time twist to your right, placing your left palm on top of your right thigh, avoiding your knee, and then right arm comes behind you, acting as a second spine. And as you inhale, try and lengthen your body, lengthen your spine, and as you exhale, gently twist deeper into the pose. Exhale, slowly make your way back to center. Again, inhale, both hands up towards the sky. Exhale, twisting to our left. Right hand comes on top of the left thigh, avoiding the knee. Left hand behind you, acting as a second spine. Inhale, try and lengthen your spine. Exhale, twist. Next exhale, make your way back to center. From here, we'll make our way onto all fours. We'll take three rounds of cat and cow. So making sure your hands are underneath your shoulders, fingers spread wide, pushing into the palms, into the mats, and making sure your hips are stacked over your knees, pushing into the shoelaces of the feet. When you're ready, we'll inhale, lift our chest up, exhale, round your spine, moving from the tail, moving with your breath, go at your own pace. We'll meet back in all fours. From here, we can lock our palms slowly out long, and then make our way onto our stomachs. And we'll come into a sphinx pose, making sure your elbows are stacked underneath your shoulders, forearms up in front of you, core is engaged. And just stay here and breathe. Breathing into the back of the body, slowly waking your body up for the day ahead of you. We'll stay here five more breaths.
And when you're ready, we'll make our way into an extended child's pose. Knees as wide as the mat, big toes to touch. And in this child's pose with your third eye resting onto the mat, um, this is where we'll set our intention. Um, so whatever intention you want to set today, um, just do it with your third eye resting on your mat so your third eye chakra is engaged. And just try and maybe visualize what you'd like to manifest in your day or just your mantra for today. Let it be unique to you. And we'll stay in this child's pose for 10 breaths. If you're having trouble finding an intention, it could just be, I intend to have an amazing day today. <laughs> Don't have to make it too complicated. Whatever your intention is, let it go, see it as already done. And when you're ready, we'll make our way into our first downward facing dog. Again, continue to push into the mat with your palms, fingers wide. And in this down dog early in the morning, you can feel free to have your legs spread wider than you normally do. And then just walk your legs out nice and slow. Waking up the hamstrings, waking up the legs. And then when you're ready, we'll heel to toe, walk all the way up to the top of our mat. And once we get there, we'll just hang out here in a forward fold. Feet can be as wide as the hips or together. And you can grab opposite elbows, rock back and forth, shake your head yes, and then no. And again here, you can feel free to bend your knees generously so your, your belly is resting on your thighs. You can lock your hands to one side and then the other. Just find what feels nice this morning. 
And we'll hang out here for five breaths. to a mountain pose. You can keep your eyes closed here. Just notice how your body feels. And in this mountain pose, we'll send awareness to each part of our body, starting with our feet, starting with our right foot. So just sending our energy and our awareness to our right foot. And moving up our right calf, our right shin, our right knee. Moving up our right thigh, our right hamstring. Sending awareness to our right hip and our right glutes. Then we'll bring our awareness to our left foot an ankle, sending energy to our left calf, our left shin, our left knee, moving up to our left thigh, hamstring, hip, and glutes. Sending awareness to your whole pelvis. And then moving up into your abdomen, lower back, ribs. Moving up into your chest. And we'll start doing our arms, bring awareness to your right hand, right fingers, going up to your wrist, forearm, and upper arm, and then bring it over to our left hand, left fingers, moving up our left wrist, forearm, upper arm, and now send energy to our shoulders and our traps, sending awareness to our neck and our jaw, resting the tongue inside the mouth, sending awareness to your third eye, maybe coming back to your intention. seeing it is already done, and then letting it go again. Then bring awareness to the crown of your head, and the space above your head. Keeping your eyes closed, just notice how you feel, notice this energy in your body and around your body. Find gratitude in this moment. this morning. And then when you're ready, you can open up your eyes and we'll do a couple rounds of sun salutations. So at the top of your mat, you can bring your feet, your big toes together, heels two inches apart, or in the morning today, you can keep your feet a little bit wider. We'll inhale. Reverse swan dive, reverse swan dive, our hands up to the sky. 
Exhale, swan dive, keeping a flat back all the way down, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, plant the palms, step the feet back into plank and lower knees, chest, chin to the mat, keeping your hips elevated. And then inhale, come into a baby cobra, keeping the gaze down, no wrinkles in the neck. And then exhale, come back into downward facing dog. Keeping your palms engaged. And then inhale, come up on your tippy toes. Exhale, bend the knees, look forward, step, hop or float to the top. Forward fold, inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, reverse swan dive all the way up. Exhale, hands to heart and by your sides. We'll do one more round. Inhale, reverse swan dive, hands up. Exhale, flat back, swan dive down. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, plant the palms, step back to plank, lower knees, chest, chin to the mat. Inhale, baby cobra. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, come up on your tippy toes. Exhale, bend your knees, look forward, step, hop, or float to the top. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, reverse swan dive up. Exhale, hands through hearts by your sides. From here, we'll move into Chikanasana, triangle pose. So you can step your left foot back, bringing your Left foot parallel with the back of your mat, keeping your right leg straight, making sure the front ankle is in line with the back arch. And we'll bring our arms out to a T. From here, we'll inhale, slightly move to our front foot, then exhale, bring it down. You're welcome to rest your hand on a block here keeping your core engaged. Arms can be in a T or your left arm can come and point towards the front of your mat. Whatever feels better to you this morning. And we'll stay here five more breaths. Next exhale, bend the front knee, and then come back. From here, we'll shift our feet, bring it over to the other side. So bringing your right foot parallel with the back of your mat, and then keeping the front heel again in line with the back arch. When you're ready, we'll inhale, tilt forward, and exhale, bring it down. Keeping the core engaged. Three more breaths. Next exhale, then the front knee, come back. 
And with our legs spread wide, the toes can come in a little bit. You can keep your arms to a T or bring them to your hips. We'll come forward with a flat back. We'll just hover here for five breaths keeping a strong engagement in our feet and our legs. And then exhale, bring your palms to the mat. If it's successful to you, you can bring your crown of the head to the mat. If you're not there yet, you stay here. Another option is to grab the outsides of your feet. Again, we'll stay here five breaths. When you're ready, you can slowly bring it back up by placing your hands on your hips. With the flat back, rise all the way back up. From here, you can either jump or heel toe your feet back to center. And then at center, you can bring your toes wide and then slowly come down into a yogi squat. option to stay here or if you want to have some fun this morning you can make your way into a crow pose so from here you can bring the palms of your hands to the mat and then lift the hips up and lock the feet hip width distance apart and then bend your knees uh, your knees can come into your armpits or behind the elbows and then keeping your gaze about six inches up in front of you. You can start to play around, lifting one foot up and then maybe the other. When you're ready, we'll come to sit down. A nice comfy seat where we started and you are all set. Feel free to rest in a Shavasana if you feel called to. Thank you so much for joining me today for this morning half the yoga sequence. Hope you all have beautiful amazing days. <laughs> You're ready we'll bring our hearts, our hearts, bring our hands to our hearts. I'm already zen out. And then we can bring our hands up to our third eye. The light in me honors the light in all of you. Thank you so much. Namaste.